are the secrets of the universe worth unearthing, even if they hold the potential for destruction? This is a question that haunts the life of our subject today. Welcome back, dear friends, to another exploration of greatness. In the spotlight this time is a figure whose mind helped unlock the mysteries of the cosmos and, in the process, created the most devastating weapon known to humanity. He was a man who dared to question, dared to challenge, and dared to feel the weight of his choices. His name is J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. J. Robert Oppenheimer was born in 1904 in New York City to a wealthy textile importer and a painter. A gifted and curious student from a young age, he showed a keen interest in a wide variety of subjects. He entered Harvard College and completed his studies at Harvard in just three years. From Harvard, he went on to study at the University of Cambridge's Cavendish Laboratory in England where he developed a deep interest in quantum mechanics, a relatively new field at the time. To expand his theoretical physics knowledge, Oppenheimer relocated to the University of Göttingen in Germany in 1926. Here, he flourished, earning his Doctor of Philosophy degree in 1927. Göttingen was a hub for quantum mechanics during this time, and Oppenheimer published multiple papers that made significant contributions to the field. Then, Oppenheimer returned to the United States and held professorial positions at both the University of California, Berkeley, and the California Institute of Technology. At Berkeley, he built up the theoretical physics field from scratch, making it into one of the best in the world. He became a beloved figure among his students for his passionate teaching style and depth of knowledge. That was 1942, when Oppenheimer was invited to take part in the Manhattan Project, the U.S. government's secret project to develop nuclear weapons during World War II. It was at this point that Oppenheimer's life took a dramatic turn, as he took on the immense responsibility of developing the atomic bomb. Stepping onto the world's stage, Oppenheimer found himself navigating a labyrinth of scientific challenges, military bureaucracy, and a ticking clock. Imagine the weight of the world on his shoulders as he led a team of brilliant minds in a race against time, hidden away in the secluded desert of Los Alamos, New Mexico. Robert Oppenheimer realized the grave responsibilities of our new knowledge. Science has profoundly altered the conditions of man's life, both materially and in ways of the spirit as well. It has extended the range of questions in which man has a choice. It has extended man's freedom to make significant decisions. And then came the moment that would alter the course of history. The Trinity Test, mankind's first glimpse of the monstrous power they had unleashed. In that searing flash of light, Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, was confronted with the terrible consequences of his creation. And this, my friends, is where we delve into the first key insight from Oppenheimer's life, dealing with moral consequences. Buckle up, it's going to be a heavy ride.
At the heart of the explosion, Oppenheimer could feel the tremors of the mortal shock waves he'd face. He later said that a line from Hindu scripture came to his mind. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. He knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. It was a haunting realization of the devastating power he had helped to unleash. Faced with the stark reality of his creation's destructive capacity, Oppenheimer grappled with the profound moral implications. The theoretical physicist turned wartime leader found himself wrestling with guilt and regret. The unbearable burden of his conscience led him to question his own actions, leading us to our second key insight, the importance of critical thinking and questioning authority. This is why Robert Oppenheimer regrets inventing the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer regretted creating the atomic bomb due to its devastating consequences, causing loss of civilian lives and destruction. He was troubled by the ethical implications and the potential for nuclear proliferation, which sparked the arms race and forever changed warfare. Can you see the connection? Stay tuned. Let's dive deeper into these insights and uncover what they mean for us today. As we look at Oppenheimer's life post-1945, we see a man transformed by the weight of his decisions. It's here we derive our key insight on dealing with moral consequences. In the wake of the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Oppenheimer was riddled with a profound sense of responsibility for the immense loss of life. The Enola Gay drops an A-bomb above Hiroshima. It explodes 2,000 feet above the Earth. Tens of thousands die instantly. We shall completely destroy Japan's power to make war. Three days later, Nagasaki is the target, with a similar result. He began to question the morality of his actions, facing the harsh reality that the scientific marvel he had a hand in creating was used as a weapon of mass destruction. Now, imagine making a decision that lands you an immediate promotion at work, but in turn, compromises the harmony of your personal life or the stability of your mental health. Like Oppenheimer, you may be left questioning whether the immediate benefits were worth the long-term costs. Here's the lesson. We ought to consider the potential long-term consequences of our decisions, not merely the immediate rewards. On to our second insight, the importance of critical thinking and questioning authority. Oppenheimer wasn't one to shy away from challenging the norms. His spirit was evident when he openly voiced concerns about nuclear proliferation, urging the government to impose controls on nuclear weapons, a move that saw him ostracized and labeled as a security risk during the era of McCarthyism. We too live in a world that often expects compliance and conformity. But like Oppenheimer, we must dare to challenge the status quo, to question decisions that impact our lives and society at large, even if it comes at a cost. So next time you're faced with an information or rule, think twice. Is it just? Does it serve the greater good? And importantly, does it sit well with your own moral compass? Oppenheimer's story is a stark reminder of the power and responsibility that come with knowledge and decision-making. 
It's a call for introspection and moral responsibility in all our actions, big or small. Because ultimately, it's not just about making decisions, it's about living with them. And that's the saga of J. Robert Oppenheimer, a journey through triumph, crisis, introspection, and redemption. As we wrap up, let's remember, the decisions we make today can shape our world of tomorrow. So let's question, let's think critically, and let's ensure that our actions stand the test of time, serving not just ourselves, but the greater good. Because like Oppenheimer, we all have our share of decisions to make and live with. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the lives of fascinating individuals like Oppenheimer. Until next time, keep questioning, keep thinking, and mind your decisions.